One of the features we're going to demonstrate is the vehicle able to perpendicular park. We have a P that shows up on the dash. Once that P shows up on the dash, put the car in reverse. We select auto park and then everything is hands off. Lights come on and you exit the car. Here we're going to demonstrate perpendicular parking with the vehicle parking on the opposite side of the road. Round two. Start and the car has control. So we'll activate summons mode by the key fob. So basically how this is going to work is we push and hold on top of the key fob. The car comes to light, it blinks to acknowledge. Then we push on the front of the vehicle, key fob. And then as you can see, the car is being summonsed out of that parking spot. Once the vehicle is about where we want it to be, then all we do is push any button on the key fob and it'll stop the vehicle. At this time, everyone is welcome to get in. Now we're gonna demonstrate some autopilot. Up on the screen, you see to the left, top left, a speed indicator. And then to the top right, you'll see the steering wheel. When we have the steering wheel on the screen, we're able to select autopilot. The way autopilot works is we first engage autopilot by pulling once on the stock. That engages the traffic cruise, traffic aware cruise control. And then for autopilot, we just pulled twice. And now the vehicle is in autopilot. What autopilot does for us is drive the vehicle down the road. And as you see, it's also slowing down for the traffic that's in front. It sees the vehicle in front of us. Once the vehicle in front of us starts pulling away, then the Tesla accelerates. It's recommended to keep your hands on the wheel. But in this example here, the car is driving by itself and maintaining a safe distance of the vehicle in front. Now that we're on a highway, we're going to see how autopilot works in lane changing. Again, pull twice on the cruise control stock now autopilot is engaged. Looking on the screen you see that the vehicle sees the right lane so we just put the blinker on the car will turn in that direction. Left blinker you see the dotted line on the screen car moves into the left lane and is also negotiating and driving around this curve. Notice how the vehicle slows down in the curves 
and it's also seeing the traffic in front. Now that we're on I-10, we'll put the blinker on and we'll merge. Notice the car slowing down for the curve. Here we have traffic in our left lane approaching. We'll put the blinker on to turn. The vehicle will not make this left turn until the lane is clear. Once the lane is clear, then and only then will the car go towards the left lane. I think we have some riders in front of us that are in training. Definitely in training. In this example, we're going to simulate auto park when you exit the vehicle. We push the park button twice, and then up comes the screen asking which direction we're going to select forward then all we do is exit the vehicle when we close the door the car will start moving forward <laughs> 